Good morning. It's, it's starting to warm up a little bit here in the UK, but you can see the car's still a little bit icy. And one thing I noticed that a few people mentioned on the forums that around the antenna is warm. So in this video, I'm going to switch on the Fleur 1. And we're going to have a little look around the Polestar 2 and see what is hot and what is not. Okay, so this is it. This is the Fleur 1. It does have video recording capability, but I think what would be best if I try and position basically this in front of this camera lens so you can see uh, in a little bit higher definition of what the screen is seeing. We're going to go around the car first and just see what is kind of hot or not um, before kind of turning anything on. Then we're going to do some preheating. Uh, this car does clear the screens really fast, even though it doesn't have heater elements in the front. Scandinavian people know what they're doing when it comes to kind of warming their cars up. If you're interested in the Fleur 1, there's another older video on the channel, but uh, let's hop to it. Let's see what is hot or not on the Polestar 2. Okay, so just looking, I think there's going to be too much reflection coming back on there. So I will record with the, uh, the Fleur camera and then go through the commentary after. Okay, so it won't take too much notice of the current temperatures. But it's needless to say, the car is pretty cold. No real hot spots as yet. The sun has been coming through this side a little bit, which is obviously why it's warmer. If we look around, let's look on the roof there. It doesn't seem to be that hot right now. As we can see, it was hotter earlier. Okay, so not a lot really hot on the car. Again, it's one driver's side is warmer because of the little bit of sunlight we have that's coming through even the antenna wasn't really that hot so maybe it's coming on and off at certain times and right now it's not hot so now we're going to jump in the car and uh, start the preconditioning and then go around the car on the outside again also we'll have a look at the inside as well see how things uh, heat up inside if it will stay on with me not in the car but um, I don't know I've shown you before but the process is pretty good. Look at those fingerprints. Let's wait for the car to... Okay, so what we do is we turn on heated steering wheel, heated seat in the front as well, and then go back here, go to Parking, start preheating, and yeah, let's see what things start up a little bit. We also put on the rear and front heaters, which doesn't seem to want to be on. I have to be in a drive mode for that to work. Okay. Okay, so you can see straight away. Things are heating up at the front there. Pretty quick. That's pretty impressive. On the sides here. Not sure we can see much happening. On the back as well. Oh, we can see again here. Look, now we can see a little bit of heat happening on there. Not much else happening on the sides. There's no heating, it would appear. Oh, there's some, something's hot behind there. No heating around the reversing sensors. Nothing hot in the charge port. Okay, 
Okay, so we can see the defrosting happening on the wing mirrors there. So I get a good heat, which is good. Okay, I was expecting to see some heat from where the radar sensor is there, but I think that must have to be on after the car's been running for a while. So I might just go for a quick drive around the block to see what that looks like. If we have a little look inside. I'm not sure if the... Okay, so we can see this is the... It's nice and warm in here. Heated driver's seat here. You can see the heating elements inside. Passenger side has been off. See, that's cool. And heat on the steering wheel there. So we'll have a quick drive around the block and see basically if we can get that front sensor to heat up. Okay, so now we can see a little bit of residual heat uh, around here from the very short drive that we had. I think it will get better depending on the winter. Also notice a little bit of the heat that was coming from the washer jets. I was able to use the washers fine. But yeah. I can see a little bit of heat from the wheels as well. It was a little bit interesting, show a little bit about the heat on the Polestar 2. If there's anything else you'd like me to look at in terms of heat wise, um, happy to get the flare one out again and do a follow up video in the future. And I will keep an eye on that front radar sensor because I'm pretty sure that, that is heated and that, you know, in the proper freezing cold winter, it's going to keep that clear. But um, yeah, I didn't see any additional heat. Just check at the back here if the rear the rear view camera had any heat up there but i didn't see any heat generated from there it feels pretty cold so i'm pretty sure it's only the areas that we saw unless it gets down to minus i think it was actually zero degrees at the moment doing this so maybe things change if it gets into the negatives but who knows Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.